Hey, what's up guys? Here are my review of the Anker Astro 2 6000 milliamp external battery. Now, Anker is one of the makers of some of the best external batteries. They always have great builds, great power, and a pretty good price. So this one is also a pretty good price, about $29 right now, and it comes with a lot of power for a 6000 milliamp battery. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and we'll go ahead and take a look, and I'll give you my full review here. So the first thing you see when you open up the packaging is the external battery itself sitting on top. Taking that out, we see we just have a little bit of literature below, including some feedback card which says we'd love to hear from you, a user instruction manual, and then we have another manual in another language in case you're not reading English. So underneath that, we have our accessory package, which just has a little carrying case and a micro USB cable for charging it. So now taking a look at it, you can see what it looks like. It's definitely got a pretty cool design. And on the right side, you can see that we do have one USB port and we have a micro USB port, which you can charge it. Now you can see that on top, we do have a charging indicator, which has LED lights and you activate it by shaking it, which is a pretty cool feature. And I found it works fairly well. Now, there are a lot of things I like about this. However, my favorite thing would be the build quality. I absolutely love the texture of it. It's a very smooth, matte kind of rubber silicone kind of TPU finish. It's kind of hard to describe, but it feels absolutely fantastic in the hand. It's very smooth, very durable, and it should stay pretty clean. It also looks really nice. So it feels just absolutely great in the hand. I think Anchor really nailed it with the construction. Now I'm going to give you a quick size comparison. So here I have my iPhone 5, and you can see that is definitely a little bit shorter than it, about 3 fourths. And here I have it compared laterally, so you can see that laying on top is about half the width, and it's definitely a lot smaller than my iPhone 5. However, you can see it is a little bit thicker. Now, here I have a 5200 milliamp external battery on the left, which is 800 milliamp smaller. You can see that it's the same height, the same thickness, and the same width. So actually all the way around it's a tiny bit smaller, so that shows you just how compact this is. It's a little bit smaller than an external battery that has less capacity, so it's a really small, portable, and great looking device. Now to charge this, you just go ahead and plug it into your device, and then you give the external battery a quick shake, which should activate it, and then your device will start charging very quickly and easily, just like that. And I found this charges very quickly. It has what is called a smart USB port, which gives it about 10% more battery life than other external batteries. And I found I got to charge my iPhone 5 about 4 times, and depending on the size of a tablet, like an iPad, you should be able to charge it without any problems. And this is a 5 volt 2.1 amp USB port, so you'll be able to charge iPads, tablets, and pretty much any device that you have. Now, if I were to have a few complaints, nothing really big, but just some small things, it'd be that it only has one USB port. So this other one, which I showed you before, has two USB ports, and this one definitely has enough power for two, but it's not too big of a deal that it only has one. The next thing would be that the LED indicator. Now, it's a pretty cool design that all you have to do is shake it. However, I found that it does not work all the time, and it's a little bit unorthodox to be shaking it if you're out in public or whatever, just like that. So I wish they would have a physical button or maybe even a touch button on it which you could use to activate it instead of having to shake it because it does not work all the time. But apart from that, it works pretty well. I definitely like the system of the LED lights, so it's not that big of a problem. And another small little problem I found was that the bag was a little bit too small. Now it definitely fits the external battery perfectly fine, but the USB port doesn't fit too well in there. I wish they would put a little bit more room on top so you can just set it in there really easily just like that or else you would have to uh, kind of put it down the side and it doesn't really fit, it kind of bulges off the side of the bag. So again, it's not a huge problem and all these problems wouldn't really make me not want to get it. So overall, I'm a huge fan of this. For only less than $30, you get a really powerful device, you get a lot of charging capability, the texture is awesome, it has great build quality, and you get great customer support from Anchor. So thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe, check out Anchor in the link in the description, and you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter, iTechCore11, for giveaways, updates, videos, and more. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.